Screaming Pigeons, Sleepy Bear Parade. Screaming Pigeons, uh, The Glass Houses. Yes, Push Button Auto. Currently of uh, Yes and Strange Attractions. The Min Pins. The Min Pins. The Min Pins. Um, Ghost of the Primate. Uh, Igneous. Uh, Tetris Head. Tetris Head. Extreme Milkshake. <laughs> And um, among others. And uh, the Ramones. Tell me, tell me about the last time you played with Tim Taliana. The last time? Well, you, are you talking about the last time or? I'm talking about the last time you played with Tim Taliana. Uh, the last time, wow. Oh, what a story that was. The last time I played with Andre Fazio. Um, the last time I played with. Tim Taliana. It was about 2006 and it was our final school assembly. Yeah, I believe that would have been the last time that I played with Andre Fazio. Or that I've in fact seen Andre Fazio. What had happened is our school had actually um, banned muck up day. There was a, uh, a sleepover. All the, the kids of the year, the graduating year, uh, came together and, and slept in the gymnasium. And we thought, okay, yeah, whatever. So we went to this, and we got, we walk in, and it just turned out to be a big fucking rave, <laughs> like these lights and smoke machines, and and you know these big stack of speakers and stuff like that, and it's just blaring, it's like dance music, so, and everyone was just getting really drunk. There's people throwing stuff in the pool, and like they beat the shit out of the toilets and stuff, and, and instead of letting people sleep, what they had to do was uh, people had to fend for. Um, for their own rights to, to sleep on gym mats. So there wasn't enough gym mats to go around. So everyone's just like basically scrambling to get these gym mats to sleep on them. And instead of giving some peace and quiet, they actually played really shit movies like High School Musical all night till about 6 a.m. So needless to say, everyone's pretty drunk. From there, that was um, where the day, where the night ended and the day began. And hung over by the time that, you know, we have to get up and do the final assemblies. And it was an, an epic day of sorts. Oh yeah, also I play in the Strange Attractions. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so the Strange Attractions are, are supposed to open up the show, right? Uh, Andre was on drums, and Aiden, uh, God rest his soul, was the singer. The first thing that Aiden utters out of his mouth is the C-bomb. And then there was Kieran, who's still in the group. Uh, he sort of took over from Aiden. We had another guy on Dins and uh, me. Tim and Kieran are the guitarists and the bass player. They've decided that they um, that in the band they weren't going to play like what each other were playing. Like, yeah, man, we're not going to play what, what each other play. We're going to come up with our own parts, and which resulted in like some sort of like mishmash of rhythm. And regardless of tuning, <laughs> you know, they just play whatever the fuck they wanted. So here's me trying to keep it together with the drums. And then I, I, it broke down into a, a Stooges cover that Andre and I were the only ones playing. And this goes about 15 minutes of the hour-long assembly. It was it was long, I'm told. It didn't feel particularly long. And um, I'm going for it on the drums and getting out every drum fill I know. And people are screwing up pieces of paper and throwing it at us and putting it in my mouth and chewing it up and spitting it out. And all the while I'm in a bunny costume. Everyone enjoyed it, which was the main thing. Except for, did everyone enjoy it? No, no one enjoyed it. And Tim's making a whole bunch of fucked up noise on his on his bass, and I'm just going for it, being from paper at us. And he gets on the guitar, starts making noise, gets back on the bass, and, and then all of a sudden he crashes into the drum kit, splits my head open. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, my memory fails me a tad. And <laughs> we dismantle the drum kit, like destroy it, and um, and that's the end of our performance. And you know. Eruption of applause. And Andre and I were the only ones who enjoyed it, and we only really enjoyed it at the time. It's like this weird moment where, like, the host, who was kind of a, a bit of a loser, and, and the the MC, the MC, um, came to us and said, "Oh, he was there," and he said, that, "You know, he, he doesn't know what to do. The, the, the audience were a bit rowdy." Um, he went out there, and he gets booed, like he gets he's full on booed. Um, he wasn't sure how to. to well, the violence in the audience after our performance. And meanwhile, people came, had come up to me, because I hosted the film night, so people would come up to me, and they went, you got to get out there and, and host it, man. Like, you're the best. 
I'm like, you gotta get out. I'm like, no, 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 because I'm slightly concussed. And he said to us, would you help us out? Help me out. And the guy, the host, he comes back out. And, um, and Tim, who's still drunk, you know, goes, hey man, do you want us to go out there and host it? We, Andre and I, obligingly said, look, for a fellow classmate, there's not much we wouldn't do. So we, we stepped up, as most good people would. Friend of theirs was, was struggling. He was a smart friend to go out there and it's like you hear crickets. Like, you know, <laughs> just a double. Like, you know, everyone's just like, what the hell are these guys doing back here? And um, and Tim goes to the front row, like, you know, how are you going? You know, are you going good? Like, you know, and he puts the mic up to random kids and everyone's just like shocked. Slapped you like, what the hell are we doing out here? Yeah, and uh, we tried to, to rein in the beast. Here's the mic to me. I'm dehydrated. Sick. And I get the mic and I'm just like, you know, and what comes out is like, oh, I'm Elf from College of Media, Captain Andre Fazio, and, um, you know, you know uh, I'm going to tell you a joke now. Really long winded, and all of a sudden I start hearing, like, no, no, boo. <laughs> also, we hear that while we were gone, this girl from our year level had said, Andre and Tim are dead to me. People really enjoyed the performance and it really struck a chord and really resonated. Now, you know what guys, it's my assembly too. And I have a microphone, you don't. So you have to listen to every word I have to say. At which point the tech crew cut my microphone. And um, I get really upset by this. And I throw in a microphone I'm like, yeah? Is that what you're gonna do to me? And I get this like drum kick, like this drumstick and I'm just like beating this drum and like hurl it at a cymbal and leave and my arch nemesis from high school comes up to me behind the stage he's like don't throw in a microphone I'm like fuck you and I push him and this teacher comes up to me and accuses, starts accusing us of hijacking the assembly <laughs> and we were like it's already shit man like we came out here to save it which was true we came out there to save it and um, like we came out to save it like he sent us out there with like Matt Cameron Rogers like you sent us to go out there tell him that and the teacher was like, is this true, Matt? And Matt just goes, shh. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, you bastard. Do it, And then we claim afterwards that we get kicked out, but really it was from our own, like, we came to the fruition, or like, it came to the, I don't know, the conclusion, conclusion. came to the conclusion that, um, you know, Tim's like, you know, let's get out of here. And we're like, yeah, <laughs> we should leave. So, like, as a protest. So we, we're just lugging our gear out of, like, the, the assembly. And like everyone's still going on and stuff like that, so, so like everything's still going on, like the playing films. Apparently, I break the microphone when I threw it. But um, anyway, we're lugging our gear all the way down to the bus stop, and me and Tim were just kind of like, you know, oh yeah, we're gonna get in heaps of trouble for this. Like I would be like, you know, oh we're fucked, we're not gonna be allowed to graduate and stuff like that. And he'd be like, no man, it's it's all good. We didn't do anything that bad. Like you know, come on, and it'd be a silence, and he'd be like, yeah, we're fucked. Uh, Andre and I had a, had a pretty big falling out after that. Um, it's still a bit raw to talk about, but um, it was it was a difficult time for both of us following um, the performance. We both uh, struggled coming to terms with the events of the day. Um, we sort of turned against each other for a while, and it wasn't until you decided called me and said there's an opening in a band and I'm like, oh, that sounds great but Andre's there and I think it's time to, to mend bridges with Sir Andre, Tristan, James Louis Fazio water under the bridge it's time to grow <laughs> that's the last time I played with Italiana <laughs> yeah, that was the last time we played